Hey, welcome to Hiking with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and I'm almost Kevin. I'm a little off Kevin. I'm not totally Kevin today. I got a flu shot yesterday, and sometimes they say you can get flu-like symptoms from it, and I think that might be what's going on today. So if, uh, you know, hang on a second. Ooh, ooh, boy. Okay, we can do this. Here we go. So anyway, thanks for joining me today, and uh, Today, since you know I don't really have the energy because of these flu-like symptoms, I'd like to rejoin the Conan hike from a few weeks ago. There was a lot of conversation, there was a lot of fun things we talked about that I didn't get a chance to post the last time. So let's go pick up where we left off and uh, we'll see you later. Maybe, maybe. Would you be shorter if you could be? You think you're too tall? That's an interesting question. Let's get to the next one. Uh, I think I'm okay with 6'4". I'm all right with it. What are you, though? 6'4". Yeah. No, you're not. I'm 6'4". What do you mean? I'm, that's how tall I am. Yeah, I think I'm 6'4". I, I go you're to the doctor, they five. measure me. No, that you think it, I've, I've got the hair adds another eight inches. Are you going to a certified doctor? Yeah. And he had a ruler? Or are we yeah, I'm just six estimating? Four. I think at my at some point I'm gonna start shrinking. You know that. I know. And so I read that you were gonna do that. Yeah. Was what? it in the trades? Uh, no, it was in National. Uh, it was in um, Mechanics Illustrated. Nice. Yeah. You're way out of breath. Can I just say? I don't know why you chose a venue where you hike. Now, when you get up in the morning, are you mm -hmm. excited typically for the day? I think that's pushing it. No. Did you know any other kids named Conan growing up? Never. Would you say it's impossible to write things that are not planned? I, I, I yes. I, I do think, it's not that it's impossible, but humans expect that if something really funny happened, it had to be planned, especially if it's with professionals, comedians, and... Like us. Well, one of us. <laughs> you decide. You. Thank you. You decide. But... They, uh, you know, I've been in audiences where people, you know, clearly just made an off-the-cuff remark that got a big laugh, and the people in the audience are like, they had to work that out. Yeah. You know they figured that out. And I've had people say to me, you knew that was coming, and you guys are, no. Uh, they take away all the credit from me, like, you couldn't be that smart, or that yeah. fast, yeah. or that witty. And uh, one time I was doing a stand-up comedy uh, at, a, at a club, and a rat ran across the stage, uh -huh. a big rat. Yeah. And everybody got upset, you know, you know, they reacted to it. And at the end, some people thought that that was part of my act, and I bring that rat with me everywhere. <laughs> but tell the truth, after that, I did bring you bring rat. the rat. I did. You, you... So, no sports for Conan. You don't play any sports. Well, uh, let's not get crazy here. I'm an avid cyclist. I like riding a bicycle. Uh, uh, I like... I get so irritated at the cyclists in L.A. I know. They think they're cars. They I know, but I away. don't. I want to say, I want to get it out there. I am a very humble bicyclist. I stay out of, out of the way of other cars. I know that it's my responsibility to stay alive. Mm -hmm. And when I'm uh, riding uh, in a car and I see the way cyclists behave, I get infuriated. So I, uh, that bugs me. I don't like the way a lot of cyclists behave in LA and probably New York too. They And they wear those, those shirts like they're sponsored by somebody. Yeah. And they weigh like 280 pounds. Who sponsors you? Like Dunkin' Donuts? You know, was that a joke you had loaded up? No. I'm was just that... riffing here, man. I'm witty. Okay. It felt loaded up. I don't have writers like you do. It, it felt loaded up. I got writers. They can't see this. They're running along through the underbrush <laughs> alongside of me. They pass <laughs> me notes. They pass me notes every now and then. Oh, what's that? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. When you're at a dinner party, do you ever feel like you have to break away for a commercial? I do. Hmm. And you know, it's weird. I actually get sponsors. You do? Yeah. Wow. I get uh, incredible. I make a lot of money just at a dinner party. Uh, do you think you make too much money? No. God, no. Not enough? No. You know, I heard there's something that's true. Everybody's definition of wealth is twice what they have. Have you ever heard that? No. And so, if you have $2 million in the bank, your idea of really being set 
is having four million dollars. If you have fifty thousand dollars in the bank, your idea of being sad is a hundred thousand. Are you serious? Yeah. Everyone's concept of wealth is twice what they have. Then they think they're going to be okay. Then they think they'll be fine. So for me, it would be ten thousand dollars. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you wear cologne? I don't. I never wore cologne. You don't like cologne? It's just not, I don't know. I like the way I smell naturally. No one's ever said you should wear something? People have said you should shower, ah. but uh, I get that a lot. But no one's ever said you should wear a cologne. I don't want to have a manufactured scent. Do you wear cologne? No, no, but I, uh, occasionally I will. Uh, just a little dab though. Yeah. You know, if I haven't showered in a couple weeks. Do you ever walk by a woman and smell their perfume and go, oh my gosh, that perfume is amazing. I wonder what it is. But you don't ask them, or do you ask them? Okay, I don't want to be rude. That's a terrible question. Why? It's just completely arbitrary. Uh, and um, do I ever say that to you when I'm on your show? That's a terrible question. No, but you know. No, because I write the questions that you ask me. You don't come up with the question. No one said to Michael Jordan, you know, <laughs> "Hey, you're a terrible basketball player." That's why I don't get criticism in that arena. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. <laughs> you okay? Yes. Why did you smoke? He smoked two packs of cigarettes <laughs> before we started. No, I don't, uh, I have to say this, I don't have a strong sense of smell. You can't smell like perfume? No, no, I can smell it, but I don't, I would say if there's a spectrum of sense of smell, one being no sense of smell, ten being amazing, I'm probably like a four. You know, I'm, I don't want to scare you, but this is something that I've read. What you have there, uh -huh. number four, or not so much a strong sense of smell is a, it's a indication of uh, Alzheimer's to come. Did you read that for serious? Yeah, I did. I like I said for serious. That's not a real thing. I can't remember if I read that or somebody told me. I fear Alzheimer's. I think that would be the worst. I don't. I can accept a lot of things happening to my body. Yeah. Because let's face it, it's no prize. But this thing up here, this thing is a Rolls Royce engine, and if anything happens to this. I want someone to come by with a shovel and cave my head in, okay? Because my body, without this mind, just bury me alive. You got nothing, nothing without the mind, man. You went to Harvard. Uh huh. Was that really hard getting through that school? No. The I mean, difficult thing about Harvard is getting in. I was, as I said, I was very. I was a hard-working kid. Yeah. I think I had some ability, but I also, there were a lot of areas, you know, where I was not confident, math and sciences. So I worked my ass off to get there. Who once, else? Once Who? you get there, hold it. You gotta wait for the person to... You know, you're, you're, you're you're quite, your answers are boring me. I gotta cut to the chase. Okay. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that on my show. I'm gonna start saying, you know what, I'm sorry. Kind of people have, oh, you know what I've always wanted to do? I gotta get this out. I've always wanted to introduce a band. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, you know, Myron and the, and the Coronets, and, and the audience applauds, and so they start singing this sort of upbeat, no, you know, tune. I'm just, again, and I'm gonna listen, cut you off, because this no, is listen, boring me. No, no, listen to me, listen to me, shut up. Me. Listen to me. You I really like this. Long. Shut up. I gotta break for a commercial. Shut up. <laughs> I've always wanted to sh introduce a band, have them start to play, and then after exactly 30 seconds, walk out and go, no, 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 guys, 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 not on my fucking show. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Your song you, is, your song is boring. Can you imagine what they would be? I'm always fantasizing about that. I get that. that. I get that. I get Just that. walking out going, no, 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 I not never, on my fucking show. I never would have thought that until today, but, but I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Because does the world really need another song? Now you made me forget what I was going to interrupt you for. Uh, is it, that was your intention, wasn't it? Yeah, probably. I don't think the cologne question is going to make it in. It might. But it's one of the worst questions I've ever been do asked. You worry about, do you worry about sleeping at night and there's smoke in the room, but you don't smell the smoke? Nope. And you just burn up? No, I don't. Well, I you never should. worry about that. You should worry about that. You, uh, again, another <laughs> question. If we just... Don't stop judging me. Why do you judge so much? You've to... always judged people critically, haven't you? Yes, I have a high bar, but I'll... Guess what? I have a very high bar for myself, and sometimes that leaks over into other people. And I apologize. <laughs> if I've judged you out there, I apologize. Do you think you're easy to live with? I think 
At times, no. I think I go would, into little holes. I go into little, probably like you. I know you do. Would this be one of those times right now? No, this is actually relatively a happy moment for me. <laughs> this is I right up tell. there with my I honeymoon. I know you're happy. What? I know you're happy. But because you don't get to be like this normally, you're so held down by yourself. Am I right? Possibly. I I don't quite understand. Um, when you um, left the Tonight Show, yeah, you grew a big beard. That yeah. seems to be the pattern for talk show hosts. Yeah. When they leave a talk show host, like uh, talk show, they like Letterman yeah. grew a big white beard. You yeah. decided to grow. Your beard wasn't white. It was, it was a little gingery. Bit, right? It was gingery. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you had that beard for a long time. It's that's more of a statement, isn't it? Having that beard. I think I, I grew the beard, and a lot of people liked it. Um, you think? You think I'm, so? I'm telling you, this is true. I would have so many people stop me and say, "I love the beard." And then after I shaved the beard, I know you're doing a bit. No, I'm not doing a bit. I'm but really... I had so many people say, "I wish we, I wish you'd grow the beard back." And the truth is, my kids hated the beard, and yeah. I started to not like the. I don't. I like think everybody beard. did hate it. But, you know, you liked it at the time, which is good. Now, what, why not just a little close crop beard? You had, like, the thing down to here, didn't you? I don't think I had it down. No, I didn't have a gold miners struck it rich beard. <laughs> it would have gone good with the hat. Yeah. Um, but uh, but you, there was a statement, though, wasn't it? That you wanted to, like, have a different, reinvent yourself in a way. Yeah, I, maybe. I think it's a lot of it's subconscious. You don't really think about it. I think I was... I mean, the whole tour that I went on... Uh, after the Tonight Show, and that was all just muscle reflex. There wasn't a lot of thought that went into any of it. But it was very popular. It was. It was really uh, fun. I worked my ass off on that tour, and and it was fun. It was getting to be. Uh, it was a little bit of like a make a wish moment for me. It was a chance to. How often do you get to go on like a comedy rock and roll tour that's yeah. nationwide? And so I I got a lot out of my system, and then was ready to go back to. Whatever it is I do. Not having the beard. Not having the beard. Do you need to be liked by everybody? To I would say, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be really honest with you. If I could change one thing about myself, it would be, I wish I, I'm getting better at it as I get older. I used to be pretty bad, but I used to uh, really need people to think I was a good person. And, you know, I think that's, uh, gotten better over time. If I could have an operation where they remove the part of my brain that cares what other people think, yeah. I would probably have that operation. So you, you probably have trouble saying no to people. I have a lot of trouble saying no. Look, look at this. I know. <laughs> look you at this. Say no to me. Hey, let's go take a hike on your one day off. If you agree to something like this, something you loathe, something you don't want to do, <laughs> but a friend feels it's important and is asking you for a favor, friend who doesn't contact you unless he's asking How for many a favor. favors have I done for you over the years? Did I not get you hired on SNL? Did I not write the Hans and Franz movie with you and carry your weight while you did The Simpsons? Oh, the Hans and Franz movie. How many theaters did that open in? It didn't open in anything because the script never got shot. It's funny. There's a lot of funny stuff it's in that funny script. Stuff, man. People don't know that I got a, I, you know, I got some guns. And you got, I got some a, guns, get yeah. Chess going. They're all rusty, but you got the guns. They've been locked up in a cabinet for a long time. But you got the chest, man. Do you work out? I do. How often do you work out? Uh, three times a week. You don't want to get too big. No, no. The cologne that's... question. Do you st I still think about it. You, you still haven't it? answered that fully, the cologne question. I First don't... of all, you you copped out by saying you don't really have a strong sense of smell. I do not wear cologne. I, I, yeah, but that wasn't the question. Oh. Oh, it was, do, do I smell it on other women? No, no, that was the perfume question. Oh. When a woman walks by you and she smells great. Yeah. I could almost fall in love with that woman just by the sense of I don't smell. go. I don't go by smell. What do you go by? If they're wearing a yoga outfit. What don't people know about you? What are you hiding? What am I hiding? Wow. Any skills that people don't know Very about? Good. <laughs> you, have, you have seen it all. <laughs> Thank you, Conan O'Brien. And I'm glad I got to share that second part of the conversation with you because, you know, you don't want to leave any meat on the bone, as they say. Especially with Conan, because there's not a lot of meat to begin with on his bones. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to subscribe, please, and also uh, turn on notifications. And again, for this one, I can't give you any honorary steps. It would not be fair. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.